up everyone? Hope you're all having an amazing day. Welcome to another KECG tech video. Today it's not going to be a review. Looks like everyone is showing off their minimal desk setups in 2020 and 2021. So I thought why don't I go ahead and show you guys my minimal desk setup. I have to warn you it is not so minimal but it is functional for me. Setup I've got here is an absolute powerhouse. I spent a lot of time here so I had to make sure it's functional and comfortable for me. So we're gonna look at everything that's on my desk and also my camera equipment that is kind of semi-permanent here. So I'll show you what's on my desk, the accessories I use, the camera, the lighting, the whole lot. We'll start with my camera setup. I get a lot of questions about my camera setup so I thought I'll take you through that first. I've got my camera A here which is Canon EOS 1DX Mark II. Currently it's filming with Sigma 14 to 24 f2.8 art lens. I use this camera mostly for wide shots as there is no obstruction between the viewers, you guys and me creating this content. For my webcam and talking headshots, I use my camera B which is Canon EOS R. This one's filming with Canon RF 35mm f1.8 macro lens. I mainly use this camera as a webcam for online meetings and also for talking head shots. If I need to overlay my talking head over a presentation or training content I'm creating. So I use this camera mostly for that. And I also use this camera for overhead shot. So if I'm creating any overhead shot content like a keyboard review that I recently did for this Varmelo Yakumo mechanical keyboard with the Cherry MX red switches. You can watch it here. For that you would see I've used this camera as an overhead shot and I use it on Elgato multi-mount system. We'll come back and look at that a bit later. Let's start from these colorful lights behind me. To get this bright saturated light that I've got going on here you want to make sure you've got manual white balance. Mine is set up at 5500K which gives me nice natural skin tones. I'm using a big light here which is Godox UL150. It's a silent fanless model and I really like it because it doesn't interfere with my audio with that buzzing fan noise. And the modifier I've got on my Godox light is this big 90cm X-Lite Deep Octobox. It is fitted with a double scrim and a honeycomb in front to really give me that soft light and also control the light spill. So it doesn't spill out wide, it just tries and keep it straight. So my camera settings for my camera A which is 1DX Mark II. My f-stop is at f2.8, my shutter speed is 1 50th and ISO is at 800. I'm filming in 4K at 24 frames a second. The light behind me that you can see here is a newer LED light. It was well priced, great value for money and I got it pretty cheap from eBay. I don't remember how much but it's a nice light that adds a nice ring behind me as you can see. I don't use it for a main key light to light up face or skin tones because one it's not soft and two it's not that color accurate but it's great for hair light or backlight to really separate you from your background. For practical lights, the colorful lights you can see behind me, I've got Yi Light Smart LED Color 1S in this IKEA lamp and same Yeelight Smart LED RGB Color 1S in another IKEA lamp and I've got another one here also you guessed it Yeelight Smart LED RGB Color 1S in IKEA lamp. So this really gives a bit of a dynamic range to this scene and adds a bit of color into it while I've got this nice 5500K balance light to give me great skin tones. Now that we've looked at my camera and lighting setup, let's look at what's on my desk. And we'll start with the biggest thing on this desk, that is the desk. This is an electronic sit stand desk. I got it from Zen Space Desks. I'm not sponsored by them. I paid for this in full from my own money. I really like this desk because it had one of the highest load ratings. I believe it's 140 kilos which was pretty good. It has this nice curved cutout so I can get really close to it while typing and I can easily access my notebook, my iPad on my either sides. The next thing on my desk is this 32 inch Samsung professional monitor. I'm still using this old monitor from 2016 because it is still color accurate and it's a great monitor. And this monitor sits on Ergotron HX monitor arm. 
Full disclosure, my company KCG Tech is a reseller for Ergotron arms in Australia. I recently did a review and unboxing for HX and LX monitor arms. You can check it out somewhere around here. And if you have any questions, please hit me up. Um, and I can answer any questions you have about Ergotron monitor arms. And if you'd like to get one, would be happy to supply you with one or many. While we're at it, let's look at the camera behind the monitor arm. So this is my webcam, Canon EOS R. This is currently running a Canon RF 35mm f1.8 macro lens on it and it's sitting on this Elgato multi-arm system. Normally it sits in this position when I'm using it as a webcam but when I need overhead shots I add another Elgato solid arm or flex arm system as required for those overhead shots. I'll leave this Rode VideoMic NTG on here. It doesn't get used much apart from an occasional short clip but I absolutely love Rode brand and its products. Next let's look at the audio interface and how I record this amazing clean audio. So my mic is running through Audient ID14 Mark II interface and the interface is connected to the computer and recording in Adobe Audition. The best thing about it is, is it's now bus powered and connected via USB-C. It's very quiet with a very low noise floor. I absolutely love using this thing with my mic, headphones and studio monitors. Let's quickly look at the mics before quickly moving on to headphones and studio monitors. For my mics I use Rode NT1 and Aston Stealth. I only ever need one mic at a time so I switch between two often but either of those mics they always live on this Rode PSA1 mic arm. Special shout out to Rode, not sponsored or endorsed by them but I absolutely love their products and they are an absolute pleasure to deal with. All my mics are connected through these Mogami Studio Gold cables for that noise free clean recordings. There's always at least one set of headphones on my desk. I often switch between Biodynamic DT990 Pro or Audio-Technica M50X and occasionally I'd use my Sony MDR-1000s when I need noise cancelling listening experience. Let's get back to the audio interface once again. The output from the interface goes into PreSonus T10 subwoofer and then subwoofer forwards that output to two PreSonus R65 studio monitors. These monitors are sitting on custom cubes that are made of myself and these cubes house some of my books and notebooks. It also helps lift up the speakers so the speakers are on my ear height and it really adds into that listening experience. In the middle of the desk you'd see I have my favorite items that is my keyboard and my mouse. These are the two items I use a lot. So with keyboards I've got few keyboards I rotate. Currently I'm using this Vamilo Yakumo keyboard that I recently acquired. I also did an unboxing first impressions and review on it. You can watch it up here and with that keyboard I'm using Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. You'll notice I've got another mouse here. This is a Razer wireless gaming mouse. I use it for those occasional gaming nights with the mates. The keyboard and mouse sits on this extra large HP Omen mouse pad. You notice mouse pad is pretty clean. No it's not brand new. I just clean it quite frequently. I've got this beard brush I got from local supermarket for half price. Great deal. Um, and I try and give it a brush as often as I can uh, and keep it clean like that. The machine powering this setup is a custom built unit in fractal case. It's an Intel powered water cooled i9 9900K with 32 gig of RAM, RTX 3080 for graphics and multiple hard drives. I have 14 terabyte of storage in this machine and another 32 terabyte in a QNAP network storage. There is also this Orico USB hub that the keyboard and mouse transmitter is connected to. You can hook up these hubs to your monitor or desk if you choose so. They're pretty handy. By the way, if you'd like to purchase one, DM me. KCG Tech is shipping free Australia wide for a limited time. Next to my mouse I have a Rodia notepad. I'm a big fan of fountain pens and Japanese stationery. At the time of shooting this video I'm using a Mont Blanc 149 and Sailor 1911 limited edition in 21k Rhodium nib. To wrap this up the last item that is a part of my desk setup is this ergonomic office chair. I can't find the brand but I bought it from a corporate office furniture store and it came with a 10 year warranty. 
I've been using it for three years and it's still as comfortable as it was on day one. So this is my humble little, not so minimal, but very functional desk setup. These are all the things I use every day and I need for my work. Hope you enjoyed the video and got some inspiration for your own desk setup. And if you got any value out of it, please give it a little like and a comment. It means a lot to us and it also keeps us motivated to create more content like this one for you guys. And if this is the kind of content you enjoy watching, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for your time today and I'll see you next time.